Hello guys, in this video we'll be taking a look at the autosomal DNA predicted phenotype traits and GD match results of an Ottoman era Turkish woman from Turkey. This is what she is predicted to look like. She is predicted to have dark brown color eyes um, and black hair with minor shakot. For nose shape it's kind of indecisive. She could have had Greek or snub shaped nose. And with y sex, she's actually predicted to have dark hair, dark eyes and also darker skin. Uh, however, I depicted her with lighter skin because with snipper free she is predicted to have white skin. She most likely had blue eye haplotype 1, did not have blue eye haplotype 2 or blue eye haplotype 3. Uh, when it comes to blue eye haplotype 4, that is undetermined. Uh, she does not have derived EDAR, so unlike the previous, or maybe I'm releasing this video prior to the second, but there's going to be two videos about uh, Ottoman Turks and one of them has two derived variants in EDAR. She does not, she has no derived variants in EDAR, so no East Asian facial traits. And according to her genotype in SLC45A2, she's got darker, non-European skin tone. She's got the typical A2A2 genotype in the TAC1 variation of DRD2, so uh, normal odds of ADHD, targeted dyskinesia and Parkinson's, normal amount of dopamine D2 receptors. She's got the sociopath gene in OXTR, she's got derived OXTR, this is what on my channel I call the sociopath gene. She's got two derived variants in both of these variations, so definitely very sociopathic, and she does not have derived EDAR, so no East Asian facial traits, no shovel shaped ancestors, no epicanthic folds, uh, and she's got this genotype, which according to to studies from 23andMe increases the risk of autism. Now uh, moving on to polygenic diseases and traits, she's got a uh, average risk score for Crohn's disease, she's got a high risk score for bipolar disorder, uh, she's got an average risk score for Parkinson's disease, uh, she's got a high risk score for stroke, uh, she's got a low risk score for schizophrenia, uh, she's got a low risk score for type 1 diabetes. Uh, she's got an average risk score for asthma. Uh, she's got a very low risk score for type 2 diabetes. Uh, and she's got a very low risk score for coronary heart disease. Now moving on to GD match. This is what she scores with Eurogenes K13. Notice how she's scoring a lot of West Asian more than, than the other Ottoman Turkish sample. But she's also scoring a lot of... Uh, East Asian and Siberian, much more than what's typical for Turks today. She's actually closest to Turkmen here, uh, and not to Turks. She's getting modeled as a mixture of Turkmen plus Kyprian. So relative to the Turkmen, she's got some uh, shift towards Kypriots and Anatolians. Uh, this is her official G25 that I found on Explore Your DNA. With this official G25, she, she's also closest to Turkmen, and not to Anatolian Turks, even though she is an Anatolian Turk. Uh, this is what she scores with MDLPK16. She's scoring actually a lot of Indian here and also a lot of Siberian and Southeast Asian, just a lot of East Eurasian components. And because of these East Eurasian components, she's also closest to Turkmeans and not to Anatolian Turks. She's actually getting modeled as a mixture of Azeri plus Bashkir, line number 8, or Azeri plus Selkup, line number 10. So relative to the Azeris and relative to the Anatolian Turks, she's very, very shifted towards Siberians. Now this is what she scores with MDLPK23B. This may be quite difficult to digest, but let's get to the Oracle. With the Oracle, she is getting modeled as a mixture of Turkish plus Hakas or Turkish plus Altaian, so basically a mixture of Turkish plus some kind of Siberian. She's got shift towards Siberians relative to the Turks. A pretty strong shift too, because she's not even closest to Turks. She's closest to Turkmeans because of the shift. Uh, here she's getting modeled as a mixture of Turkish Kaiseri plus Tuvinian or Turkish Kaiseri plus Dalgan. So a mixture of East Turkish plus Siberian once again. And uh, this is what she scores with Pond DNA LK12. Uh, quite a lot of Caucasus Hunter Gatherer and Anatolian, but uh, still also a lot of Siberian. And because of this Siberian, she's getting modeled as a mixture of Kurdish plus Dalgan or Kumik plus Yakut. A mixture of Caucasus, uh, either Northern or Southern Caucasians plus uh, Siberians. This is what she scores with Ancient Eurasia K6. Uh, a lot of Natufian, the biggest component here is Natufian, but there is also that 20% East Asian, uh, which is a significant amount of East Asian admixture. And because of this East Asian admixture, she is closest to Turkmeans once again. She's getting modeled as a mixture of Drusia plus Clovis or Drusia plus Pima, so basically a mixture of Levantine plus Native American. And this is what she scores with Gedrusia K3. Uh, you can see she's got a lot of East Eurasian. She's one quarter East Eurasian according to this result. Thanks for watching until the end. You can download her genome in 23andMe format from link which is in the description. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy my video.